2-0 win for West Virginia over UConn, the first Big East women's soccer semifinal for 2010. Jason Abb, Tammy Blackburn here. Scoreless at halftime, second half, the Mountaineers get it going. Blake Miller able to turn and put together a perfect pass in stride to a streaking Megan Mischler to start the scoring for WVU, Tammy. I just thought it was brilliant how she held the ball. She gave Mischler a chance to find the open gap, and Mischler gets herself in. But what I love about Blake Miller is that she kept that ball low, and then you see on that second one, the through ball for Blake Miller to her freshman down the right side. Francis Silva perfectly executed. Now to see that execution, Nikki Izzo-Brown has to be happy. Hey, Coach, in playoff soccer, you'll take goals any way you can get them. But to have two beauties like that's got to be gratifying. What opened it up for you guys in the second half? You know, I, I just think uh, Blake, you know, making sure that she was confident. And, you know, Blake on the ball, she's one of the best soccer players in the country. And obviously she was able to, you know, find two great players to finish. But, uh, you know, you got to credit Blake. She found that. And, you know, we talked about holding the ball and, you know, they commit a lot of numbers forward and we just needed to, you know, find that seam and, and Blake uh, had the ability to do it. Well, Coach, I was beginning to think I was a little bit of bad luck. How does it feel to get out of the semifinals of this tournament? Well, we can have lunch now. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, it's it's a nice feeling. Uh, you know, both teams battled tonight. You know, I, I, I give UConn a lot of credit and, uh, you know, obviously I'm happy to be going to the Big East Championship. Yeah, I know you typically don't care who you're going to play, but give us a little uh, sketch on what you expect to see when you're looking at Marquette and USF tonight in the second semifinal. Yeah, you know, we had both teams early, and I think both teams have a lot of weapons, but you're going to see a very physical, aggressive, intense game. And, you know, I, I you know, obviously Marquette and, you know, South Florida are both very dynamic and have had a great season thus far. So it's, it's going to be an exciting game, and again, it's going to, going to be the team that makes a mistake and the other team capitalizes. That yeah, sounds a lot like the one you just survived. Coach, thanks and good luck this weekend. Thanks, you guys. Nikki Izzo-Brown has West Virginia in the championship round again. And you look, Tammy, at the final numbers. Eventually, great individual effort, according to Coach Izzo-Brown, from Blake Miller, the difference setting up those two goals. Well, absolutely, the fact that they pushed forward. They found the open seams. They split those seams. Blake Miller was just the critical four corner kicks, a lot of pressure from the Mountaineers. Well, for Tammy Blackburn, our entire CBS College Sports Network crew, this is Jason Knapp for scores, highlights, features, and more. Go to cbscollegesports.com. This has been a presentation of the CBS College Sports Network. Don't forget, we're back 7.30 Eastern for the second semifinal between Marquette and USF. West Virginia advancing now to the championship.